You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 319th episode of Potty Talk Live. I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, along with my co-host, the lovely Laura. Hey, We're talking the business of plumbing, and we have a so great have. episode for you here. <laughs> We're continuing our five-part series mm-hmm. on how to live an intentional mm-hmm. life. Intentional being a key word there. Yes. But we're talking on this episode mm-hmm. how to keep it hot and sexy. <laughs> how to be intentional to about keeping business. it hot and sexy. What? Has everything to do <laughs> with plumbing, plumbing business. And we'll get to it here in just a moment. Hey, it's mm-hmm. great to have you on board here. Mm-hmm. Hey, if you're watching live, type live in the comments. Mm-hmm. If you're watching the replay, type replay in the comments, mm-hmm. if you would, please. Hey, Ricky. And if you're listening oh. to the podcast, you know what to do. Just keep on listening. Mikey's All right. Hey, who's joining us? Mikey's Mikey, in the house. Bo All right. Was. TK is in the house hey, with us here. Tell my little snack I said hi. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you little snack. She looks like a little. She's she, cute like a little she snack. She is cute like a little snack. They are a good looking couple. Adorable All couple. right. Yes. Proper plumbing. Proper Checking plumbing's in, in the house. San Diego. Dan the man wow, and I are live. All right. Hey, good. If you guys want to see a great new brand. You got to check out Dan check and out. Ashley's Dan. brand new Iron Mountain Plumbing. Iron Mountain out of Plumbing. Utah. Yes, Dan Antonelli just cool. redid their, really their cool. branding. And guys, it just it looks amazing, especially those pictures you did with the mountains in the background. Yeah. Crazy. Uh, Crazy it's good. fun. It's yeah. fun to see that. Love seeing that. And of course, it just came easily, right? Oh, yeah, it's a piece <laughs> right, of cake. Piece there was right. no struggle. Right. All right. <laughs> All right. But it's great. Lenny is live hey, in the Lenny. house with us, brother. All right. Hey, stick around here, Chris. Ontario. Live from Ontario, Canada. We're awesome, honey. Chris says uh, we're awesome. All right. Well, I Thank think you're you. awesome. Well, I think you're awesome. <gasps> well, there in you fact, go. you're looking uh, pretty. Uh, hey, Chris. Hot and sexy. Oh, is that you, you kind of go. You kind of go with the program. <laughs> is that where to, we're going. Yeah. Hey, Matt Delaney. I was told to behave. <laughs> like that's gonna happen. <laughs> I was right. really nervous. <laughs> hey, Tiffany, imagine. imagine. Long time no here. All right, are been? in the house. <laughs> Haven't spoken with you for a while. Forever. All right. And Bob and Val, all these people. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. Good to have you guys here. Love Matt and Jess oh, are live. Oh, my goodness sakes. All right. All the PPCs in the house. All right. And Kathy. I'm sure she's there with Chris. So. Well, good. We're going to have a fun. You guys are going to be. Mm-hmm. This hey, is going to be a fun one here. Mm-hmm. You're going to see if I can behave or not. Mm-hmm. Hey, this is one of my favorite hey, topics. Aaron. Keeping it hot and sexy. Mm-hmm. This is important for a plumbing <laughs> business. Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna get okay. to it here. In fact, we don't we don't have a question here. Okay, not so much of a, having a question, mm-hmm. but uh, more of a request. request. Tag your spouse, mm-hmm. okay, and share their best quality. Their best quality. Okay. Yes. Let's. Time to build your spouse yes. up. Yes. So yes, tag your okay. spouse. What's their best quality? All right. Jordan no Jordans are live. PCs, All right. Hey, Jordans. I miss seeing you guys. Hope you're feeling better, too. They were really sick. Oh, were they? I, I didn't know. I, told you yeah, they no, I didn't know that. horrible cold. Yeah. They were, Jordans Ooh. were one of the couples here in um, at the MDP retreat. Got home and got all sick. Love spending time with them. Mm-hmm. So hope you're feeling better, yes. guys. Mm-hmm. In fact, yeah. I have a reminder that I uh, just saw that Matt and Jess are on. Yes. They're coming down next week with I the family. Know. They are. Looking forward to that. And get we, to we, meet the little kids. We get, to we'll, hang out with, we get to hang out with the Carters. <laughs> well, we'll be looking forward to seeing yeah. Matt and Jess, but I can't wait to meet the kids. I know. Oh, I'm just saying. Cameron so, and, mm-hmm. and little Cameron. doll face. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, we're just going to eat her up. I just know it. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> anyway, yes, never miss an episode. Turn on notifications right now so you never miss an episode of Potty Talk Live. Never. Um, certainly type the word text. Is it text? What right. is it? Sparky. Is it text? I think it's text. Um, in the comments, if you want to make sure that you get notified right, when we go live. So, All right. There you go. Because we'll, we're going to be if you miss an episode of Potty Talk Live, soon you're going to die. You're going to die. It's true. Okay. You don't mm-hmm. want to die. So it's good to have everybody mm-hmm. here. Um, All right. Busters, Jennifer Southern, ability to see through my B, uh, my BS. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but mm, okay. Okay. That's <laughs> the spouse. Okay. All right. The see through. Yeah. Um, hey, David. Nice All to right, see All right. Good to have you on board here, David. Checking, um, checking in. Okay. Also, guys, one thing that Facebook likes, and I think I mentioned it a few shows ago. Kimberly. Um, yep. Hey Bo, guys. you got a good one there. Believing in you. That's yep. right. Um, oh, that's right. Okay. That we ask people to tag, so now I know That's what right, that right. means. Oh, my memory is that long. Um, anyway, guys, Facebook likes it when we get lots of comments and lots of likes and all that, so they offer it up to more. So if you guys don't mind giving us a, a thumbs up, a 
a happy face, a hug, a love. We'd appreciate it. Whatever. So share the love. All yes. right. Share the love. <laughs> All right. Mikey is tagging Katie because she's flat out hooking, smoking hot. There we go. Yeah. My God. <laughs> yeah, right. Say um, like it is. Okay. Ann says we're better. You're Thank like, God. It was rough. Um, <laughs> no, I did not know there were other illnesses. Okay, I can't say that or we're going to get booed oh. out. So I'm not going to even say the word. Okay. Sorry. Um, Ashley says, Dan, um, her husband, integrity, hard worker, family man, Christ oriented. Love hearing that. See, Love hearing that. Isn't it great to just build up your spouse? Yes. Because um, there's so many things that, that are trying to tear families and marriages apart. Yes. Um, and that's what we're going to focus on tonight. Yeah. How, do you, how do you build up your spouse? So, yep. hey, Jim. We want to keep doing that. Yes. You know, that's what, uh, you know, we're talking about, you know, again, mm -hmm. our, our, our title is, you know, how to keep it hot and sexy. Yes. You know, how, mm -hmm. how to be, um, to intentionally, intentionally work. Intentionally. Intentionally. And that's the key word mm -hmm. um, to, to work at keeping it hot and sexy. It yes. being your relationship with your spouse. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have so many things that are pulling us apart. We, well, we got the business, mm -hmm. you know, the business alone for our, our PPCs. Yes. <laughs> you know, you get to two different personalities, <laughs> which is what makes you strong. That's the right. power mm -hmm. of the PPC. Right. Okay. The plumbing power couple. Right. All right. But, but it, the, there is friction there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's happening. Yeah. Um, life. Kids, um, kids, mm -hmm. okay, money, money, all mm -hmm. those kinds of Everything. things are, are working Household chores. to tear our, tear that relationship apart. Yes. Okay. And, and that relationship is key, um, not only to the success of your plumbing business. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the reason for having this plumbing business is <laughs> to, to have a life. So you can have a life. Right. And you if know? you're married, hopefully you want that life to be with your spouse. Yes. Why, because not, it, is a, it is a great thing. Mm -hmm. It is a great thing. It can be. All right. So let's mm -hmm. get at it. Wanna, okay. Well, all right. Let's. You're, you're all right. But let's want, get. Baby. Let's get at it here. Okay. <laughs> all right. So how how can we be intentional? What can we do? Yes. To be you know to intentionally work at. Yes. All right. Having a hot and sexy marriage. There we go. I just, okay. just want to hear. <laughs> I just want to hear you say hot and sexy. I, I love it when she talks that way to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All right, number one. We're okay, five honor, <laughs> right. oh, honor. It's great to be married. <laughs> All right, you know. But I get okay, the reason I get go. on oh, this no. because in our yes. society mm -hmm. we ha we have this this sensualized, sexualized society. All right. this other stuff. We do. Where you know, you know, we can show you know gay guys kissing now and mm -hmm. doing all this other kind of stuff, and all that's okay. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Wow. But in married life, it's like we got to. Well, we can't talk about this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. But God wrote a whole book in the Bible. That's right. What I call marriage porn. You do. All right. You do okay. Call it that. Yes. Song of Solomon. Song of, Sol Song of Solomon. All right. Yes. I mean, it's our God. God created. Our Creator mm -hmm. wants us to have a good time. Yes. Between a husband and a wife. Correct. Okay. Which so is a that, man and a woman. So yeah, right. So that's the program. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And God laid it out there. Wrote a whole he book he about did. it. I know. I've read okay. it. Okay. All right. And it gets pretty in depth. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so people say the Bible's boring. No, it's not. No, it is not. Okay. No, it is not. Religion is boring. Mm, true. That's what's turned, you know, Correct. that kind of a thing. Right. But God's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, he has a sense of humor <laughs> and he's all about you having a good time. That's right. Okay. He created it. Yes. All right. Okay. So honor one another. Yes. Okay. Honor one another. You know, I come from the guy's perspective. Okay. You know, guys, it takes a man to honor his wife. Mm -hmm. I don't care how tough you think you are. You know, I, I hate hearing, you know, these guys are just, you know, when they get married, I, I hate hearing guys yes. badmouth their wives. Right. I mean, I, I've heard guys, even in my presence, even part of badmouth their wives mm -hmm. in public in front of us, mm -hmm. around other people. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't take a man to do that. Mm -mm. I mean, it doesn't even take a boy to do that. No. I mean, it takes an idiot. Jerk. Yeah, to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. But yet we find ourselves, you know, so many guys are talking like that, mm -hmm. you know, and, and putting down their wives, right. you know. And then they expect. <laughs> then they expect, you know. Intimacy. Intimacy, you know, mm -hmm. in the bedroom or anywhere else in the house. Oh, it's good to be empty nesters. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true statement. <laughs> okay. Um, there's life after kids. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, we are and lots that, of it. Yes. All honor, right. honor, honor. But, but honor, mm -hmm. you know, how, guys, you can't, you know, if you don't honor or you disrespect your wife, mm -hmm. how, how do you, and then, you, you know, you're, you're looking for other stuff. Mm -hmm. It ain't happening. It ain't, it ain't happening. Mm -hmm. You know? That's true. So that, that's a biggie right there. Okay. Okay. So what are some ways to honor? Well, um, you know, open Other the door. Not. Well, they're not doing that, but like mm -hmm. open the doors. Oh. 
-hmm. you know, o open the doors for your wife. Car door. The car door. Door, door. door. Don't be the first one. I mean, I even see so many. You guys, are, guys are the first ones walking through the door, oh, and your makes, wife's following behind. That literally makes me insane. That makes me insane. Why? In the what world? kind of little pansy are you? Right. You know, Come on, guys. Yes. You know? and you've always been great at that. You've always been really, really great at that. And well, it, and look what I got. Mm -hmm. Who has said they're lucky to have? I mean, mm -hmm. Mikey. You know, mm -hmm. you got. I mean, hey guys, if you're married. You're lucky. You're lucky to have what you've got. <laughs> Some of you I know a lot. <laughs> and all of you I know, you know, with your wife, you're mm -hmm. you're lucky to have mm -hmm. have her. And you know that. And in fact the good you book says, know you know, a mm -hmm. man who finds a wife has mm -hmm. found a good thing. Right. Okay, it's a treasure. It's a treasure. Okay, and so right. you know, the part of keeping this, you know, things and we want the, I know guys want hot and sexy. Sure. And all and, and even all it never stops too, mm -hmm. by the way. I mean we've known We've had older friend, older couples that we know in their 80s. 90. 90. <laughs> 90. Mm -hmm. And to hear a couple 90-year-olds, 94-year-olds, <laughs> talking about how, you know. They, they, li liked, they enjoy each other. They enjoy. Right. We'll just say that. Like, huh. <laughs> 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 but, but it doesn't stop, you know. But okay. the alternative but, is worse. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You can mm -hmm. be busy living or busy dying. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And intimacy is part of busy living. Yes. Okay. okay. So you mentioned um, holding door. Right? Yes. Because you've always done that. You, you've always done that. Um, my car door, door, whenever we're walking in anywhere. We were at um, mm -hmm. the gym in the parking lot. Hmm. Couple, it was a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And um, Richard, again, hold, held the door open for me when we got in the car. Because um, we always go put our stuff away in the car first after we work out. And then we go um, into this, the um, smoothie shop right next door. Um, and so we came out. And this woman was in the car right next to, to our car. And she rolled down her window and she said to me, okay, I got to know, how have you trained him to do that? And I said, okay, do hmm. what? And she said, open the door. She said, I've been watching you guys for a while. He always opens the door for you. And I said, well, um, I didn't have to train him. He just, he They're does always it. watching. Yeah. Always, always watching. Always watching. Yep. And, I, and I said, he's just always done that. And she's like, man, I, I really wish that my boyfriend would do that. Um, and I've been trying to tell him and nag at him to get it done. I'm like, well, okay, that's, that's not going to work, right? Um, so we actually told her to watch Potty Talk Live. Mm. So she might be watching. But anyway, that's, it is something that people notice. Because, and that's sad because if people are noticing, that means that it's unique, right? That it's, it's not common. Where it should be common. It should be the opposite that people notice when a husband or a man doesn't open a door for a woman. That should be the thing that's noticed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is a sad statement in our society. Mm-hmm. Um, um, yes, Bo, you're some, right. yeah, you did, Bo. Bo, yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm okay, come on, man. We sat by the pool together, you know, and we we talked and all. So I think we can be straightforward with one another. Yeah, she's not leaving me for the pool boy. That's right, Mikey. <laughs> right, you ain't gonna let her. That's right, right. Um, so, guys, um, <laughs> that's why I don't have a pool yet. <laughs> I'm in the gym. Working on it. Um, so, guys, open the door. Yes. That, and it means a lot. Guys. And so, ladies, if, if, if they do open, if your husband does open the door for you, let him. You know, just let him. It's, it's just, it's a nice, it's a nice feeling. Well, a part of this is, and, you know, I, you know, I have my opinion here, but this is the whole operization, the pansification of, of men, of, of pulling men down. Mm -hmm. And men, and we've allowed it to happen, that's too. That's true. OK, um, you know, it's it's not um, holding up, you know, our women, mm -hmm. you know, and that kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. And um, certainly, you know, we should be holding up our wives, our queens. Certainly. OK. Also, right. can I just say another thing um, uh, goes both ways. Women, mm -hmm. wives, honor your husband. Men want husbands, especially want more than anything to be respected. Mm -hmm. And if you tear him down, especially in front of people um, or aren't lifting him mm -hmm. up. Um, it get cuts right to the core. I always tell a lot of our, our PPC wives, you have two choices. You can your mm -hmm. words will either um, tear up, tear down, um, or build up. Those are the choices. And we there is power. Us women have power with the words that we say to our husbands. So you're doing one of two things: you're either tearing him down or you're building him up. And I love that you've always done that for me. Mm -hmm. Now we weren't always perfect. You know, we we had uh, our time <laughs> right in, in early days. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we both had our issues, yes. and this isn't the time to go into that, but mm -hmm. we certainly... Um, we might sometime. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, because we've, we've lived that story mm -hmm. where, you know, she left and took the kids, and, you know, we had to make our way back, and mm -hmm. we don't even know who these people are today. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so that's why we speak, we can speak on this as well, right. that we hate, we come from hating one another hating. to 
things are great. We like each other okay. quite a bit. And, um, teach them young. You're right, Ashley. Yes. Yes. And that's right. You need to teach, teach your boys young to, mm -hmm. to respect. Yes. And that's not being taught, by the way, mm -hmm. in our society and schools. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, you but know, we've, in, yeah, in we've kind of, gone from. But from pretty bad. Pretty really bad. bad. Extremely bad. Um, bring, you know, divorce, mm. you were leaving and you know, that kind of a thing too. Right. We can't imagine being, you know, the, no, those we're people, never apart and right. Just, that know, kind of a thing. Friends. And so, so I've always, from that, we've always, always appreciate what you've always built me up. Mm -hmm. You know, all my flaws. <laughs> <laughs> what flaws, oh, baby? Thank, I don't know what you're talking about. Thank you. About. I have no flaws. Sweetheart. I'm the million dollar plumber. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you know all my flaws. Mm. But you never dig at me, mm. even privately. Mm. Um, for those around us a lot, you probably notice she does loves, does lift me up, and she genuinely does that. I yes. know you you do that with a real heart mm -hmm. and believe. But but it was learned. But that didn't come natural to me. Because you are you are a very strong, independent woman, <laughs> and I have a lot of opinions, <laughs> and they're all lot. right, <laughs> every one of them. Yeah. <laughs> But um, because it, it's not natural for me to give uh, words of affirmation, right. that doesn't that, come that's naturally not, right. to me. Um, so I had to learn that because it was important to him, and what was important to him right. became important to me. Yeah, so. yeah. So even 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 you know publicly, you lift me up, mm -hmm. and even privately, you don't say, "Well, you remember the time you did whatever? <laughs> how, how are you going to do that? Well, what good's that going to do? You never bring back yeah. my my failures. Mm -hmm. And in fact, if I show signs of stumbling a little bit or mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. What do I Some say? Some weakness. To you? Come back with your shield or on it. Come back with your shield or on it, baby. So that's a line from a guy. So even mm -hmm. she says that with love, but it's from a queen's. Yes, from what movie? From Three Hundred. From Three Hundred, which okay, she'll say that. Whatever, but, but it's, it's a way, a, mm -hmm. you know, a strong and caring way to say, mm -hmm. "Hey, you have a job to do, mm -hmm. and I expect you to do it, and, and you're capable, and you're capable of doing it." Yes. So go do it, or mm -hmm. come back home, you know, mm -hmm. on your shield. Aww. Oh, thanks, yeah. Christy. BDB. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. So, um, all right. So, honor, honor, honor each other. Honor, right? honor is a big deal, and that's yes. not taught. Yes. Okay, and you got to be intentional about it, mm. because a lot of us, um, especially if you know, we, we have strong personalities, mm. um, we're naturally selfish. Okay. Yes. And, we, there's, we, and, there's, and there's, we didn't have to learn how to be selfish. Right. That just came naturally. Right. Everybody. And there's very little in our society that talks about honoring husbands and wives. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. That, that kind of a thing, mm -hmm. okay? So but, and you got to be intentional yes, about it. Yes, and we like to talk about it, too, because most, most everybody that we talk to, um, plumbing business owners, they're, they're husband and wife teams. For whatever reason, that's what we attract, right? right? So um, the business is important to us, but more important to us is, is the relationship. So I guess, yeah, I guess, yeah, this. it's out there. We love to, that you're successful. We want your business to be successful, mm -hmm. all right? But uh, we care more about uh, your relationship. Yes. Because that's what the business is for. Kimberly. Exactly. So you can do, I mean, right. you can do all this other stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right. And have a, you know, a great marriage. Mm -hmm. All right. Number two. Yes. All right. Number two. Date one another. <laughs> okay. Don't tune out because you know you've heard us say okay. this. Okay. And we'll get that. Times. But date one mm -hmm. another. And guys, this is more out of an attitude as well. Okay. Just something happens as we get into, okay, we've, you know, we've got this, you know, hot knockout girl that we went after mm -hmm. okay pursued pursued courted. and did everything we could to get her attention mm -hmm. okay like took a shower before you went out right on a date. and <laughs> and said nice things about her mm -hmm. and probably did open the door for her mm -hmm. you know and all those kinds of things and then as soon as we get married <laughs> all of a sudden you know mm -hmm. you know our tensions turn and right. especially when the kids come we can say well uh, she's paying attention to the kids and we'll talk about that sure. what, what, but all of a sudden now it's like we, don't, we don't. We have an idea. We're I not, got her, so now I don't have to. Do I don't anything. have to do anything. Right. Okay. No, you need to constantly date your wife up here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, be that's, intentional about be it. Be intentional about that. Mm -hmm. You know, I constantly focus on and think about Laura. Mm -hmm. Okay. I look forward to mm -hmm. you know all all week long. Mm -hmm. I mean, in my mind, you know, I talk about even. I know we talk. We want to be careful of the lines because mm -hmm. it's not the environment to talk <laughs> about this kind of stuff. Um, but the idea of even, you know, you know, guys live in a fantasy world and mm -hmm. I know, but I fantasize about, about Laura and not, ne not necessarily in a, a sexual way, right. but the idea of we're going to spend time together. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, what are, we, what, what are we, what are we going to do? On. You know, mm -hmm. I can't wait to see. Anticipation. Right, what is she going to wear? Just like we okay. used to when we're dating. When we're dating, right. Right. And lo looking mm -hmm. forward to seeing her. Right. And you have to be intentional about that. You know, mm -hmm. you've already had children with her. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you probably had arguments and all this kind of stuff. And that kind of stuff just works at, mm -hmm. you know, being, pulling you away. Right. And then our society and, you know, media has all these other things of these, you know, the dream girl. <laughs> and all this over here is pulling at your, there's you know, no such thing. There, there's no such thing, <laughs> right? Okay, and it's pulling you over there, mm. you know, and you mm. got to be intentional about focusing on, on your wife, mm -hmm. okay? Yes. Dating her, just like when you were kids, mm -hmm. or when when you were all Twitter pated. You know what that word? Twitter pated. <laughs> and guys, you were once you, you were once Twitter pated. No, that's from Bambi, the little little really? thumper, and said that he got all Twitter pated okay. over. I think we've had this conversation. Right. Over, I remember now. Okay. I don't, I'm aging myself. Uh -huh. Okay, but Twitter paid it. <laughs> oh, so what a, what's the advice for? Is that say single business owner decides to go get a wife? Get a well, wife. Get a wife, Aaron. Aaron, I know. Right. <laughs> okay. okay, Aaron. This is this is the this is good. Um, the one um, business. Uh, yeah, you know, guys, know what I'm talking about. I think he did have a wife, but uh -huh. he lost it. So you need to go get another one, a good wife. Okay. Yeah. And, <laughs> And do better this time. Okay. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> what do we say to this, Aaron? What do okay. we say? Okay. <laughs> hey, and that's coming from two that we were both um, married previously. Mm -hmm. This is a second marriage for us. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you you married the cool guy from school that never grew up. Mm -hmm. Who basically stayed a jerk. Okay. He you know what I'm saying? So you, yeah, right. so I don't care. That. I don't care. I met him. In, you know, he's a Okay, whatever. Right. Right. I married the night we were friends, mm -hmm. and that you know, so the, the, you can picture this for my people that went to church camps and all that kind of stuff. We mm -hmm. were the friends, mm -hmm. and everybody says, "Oh, you guys are so cute together. You should get married." So mm -hmm. what do we do? We get married, mm -hmm. and shouldn't have. But shouldn't have. Right. We should have stayed friends, mm -hmm. and it was all my fault. She's a wonderful woman, okay. but that kind of a thing. Yes. But so saying this, what I, I know I threw so out there Aaron. about so Aaron about getting married, <laughs> mm -hmm. we can learn from. You know, yes, you and Aaron, you can right. learn from this because I'm, I'm right. assuming you probably do want to get married again or certainly start dating. And so, yeah, you can still apply these these things to your future soon to be Mrs. Aaron. Right. So. So there we go. OK. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that one. But oh, but date one another. OK. <laughs> yes. Which. But what you want to. Well, I was going to say something about dating. So when you do uh -huh. want to date ladies, put something on other than the sweatpants you've been wearing all day that has like crap on it or whatever. I. You know. <laughs> Get dressed up. You pro again. You probably did it when you were dating. You probably put something really cute on. You thought about it all day. Probably went and bought something new, right? Um, <laughs> and um, <laughs> thanks, yeah, Christy. Christy. You probably, you know, did your hair, put some makeup on, right? I, I love Still that, do that. I love that you you make the effort to do that. Mm -hmm. And I know it's difficult when you're running a business, mm -hmm. which yes. you are running a business. Mm -hmm. Quite frankly, Laura, you know, we don't. I don't hold because you did it. I'm what, trying. What, what? I, I have a hard time listening me. to the other excuses where ladies. Well, I got the kids, and I got we this. We had kids. We had, and Laura did it all. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to preach the guys, but the okay, Lord did it that's all. That's on recording somewhere, right? I know. I gotta be. Hey, I just gotta. I want to be real. I think that's the only thing, real relationship I have with you guys is that, you know, is uh, being real. So I, I gotta be real. I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, um, I did. I did better over time. You, you certainly but, did. But you. But, but I did um, only because um, you had the vision, right? I. I didn't. I would have had anything to do had you not had the vision. So, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm so, here. so I like, see how she does well of honoring me and kind of building me up. <laughs> she didn't that mention all the time, so she one. just stopped me staring out the window, saying, "What the? <laughs> what you My hair's on fire. Right. Kids are running around screaming. Yeah, she's like a baby on her hip, and she's working Answering on the and, phone, right. making okay. dinner. Oh man! And you're like, baby, I've got a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> but you did it all Sorry. and even through all of that <laughs> yes you always made an effort mm. to look nice yes for me for you yes right mm -hmm. you know and it was intentional again there's our word right but i was we, i was intentional about it because um i had a older woman speaking into my life mm. as well um that said kids aren't going to be around oh. forever it's going to be you two and you don't want to look at each other and go now who are you Right. right. 
So, right. yes, so that's what I am now, sadly. I'm the older woman speaking into the younger women's lives. Ricky mm-hmm. says, I found my blessed wife, Laura, mm-hmm. after a failed marriage. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so good. We did, did our due diligence. Lots of marriage counseling and lots of marriage books. Marriage books. Good for you. Yes. Um, yes, and us as well. We After we decided we were not going to be divorced, we were uh. going to stick it out. Um, marriage counseling is what changed our lives. That, and we recommitted our lives to Christ, which was right. the biggest part. And, and we asked... Um, Quite frankly, we believe a marriage is a covenant between a man, woman, and our creator, Mm -hmm. God. Okay? That's a fact check. Mm -hmm. No ifs, ands, or buts. That's Mm -hmm. just how it is. Mm -hmm. All right? It's a covenant. Okay? So a marriage is really Mm -hmm. three ways. Three ways Mm -hmm. here. Man, woman, and God. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. And it's a covenant, which Mm -hmm. means it's not to be broken. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we had... We came to the understanding that we asked for we asked for forgiveness right. from God mm-hmm. for breaking the covenant with right. our first spouses, correct? Mm-hmm. And then asked Him in return to bless our marriage, yes, which He did, which He did, overflowing, yes. extremely well. From then on, yes, it wasn't immediate. It wasn't yeah. It took some it, for it us took to somewhere. heal because there was, sure. um, you know, and learn some things, right? And, mm-hmm. But w- looking back and where we are now, yes. We've been extremely blessed, more yes. than we could ever imagine. Oh, and I'm not just talking physical, I mean, um, you know, stuff, yeah. which we have been, mm-hmm. but it's, just but, our but, but our relationship, We're solid. right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Solid and then some. Solid as Sears. Is that still a thing? Solid as Sears. Solid. Boy, that's an old statement. <laughs> I'm old, baby. Can I know. I tell you. Um, let's see. Lupe, Lupe, you can have it all. Success, um, it doesn't mean anything if you can't keep your family together. Exactly right. So always um, growing, growing and learning. Love. Always. Family yes. is the thing that's the most important. And that's why you see it in our society working mm-hmm. so hard to, to tear to, it apart. To tear it apart. Mm-hmm. So guys, um, you've got to be intentional about right. it. You have to be intentional because okay. if not, you will drift apart. Right. You just will. So, so that leads to pull you apart. with yes, dating. Sign. And so yes, be dating. intentional about we had a date night once we got back to that. We've had a date night forever but since then. Every Friday night. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Whether we could afford it or not. So you say, well, I don't have any money. <laughs> yes. Well, Taco Bell. I mean, we had times when we went. Uh, I hate Taco Bell. I mean, I can, yeah. So we go to <laughs> McDonald's drive through. I could do McDonald's over Taco okay. Bell. Okay. And right. we, we'd go park at the airport. Yes. And we'll look at, you know, watch the planes land. Right. Because you always like watching right. the, the planes take off. So, right. Yeah. We would do that. Sit in the parking lot. We would do that. Um, you know? Yes. And as things got better, then we you know had fancier dates. Mm-hmm. Okay. But we made that yeah. time to be together. <laughs> Wendy's. Wendy's, right. <laughs> you know? And Cracker Barrel. It, right. We moved our way up the chain <laughs> yeah, there. Exactly. Okay. Right. And a you movie. Know? Got to do movie. Then, we, yeah, sneak I mean, own, we sneak in our own um, treats. Treats. We, got, we did <laughs> that. Did a little <laughs> Diet right. Coke can. Right. I mean, we're actually doing that. <laughs> I know. It was, it was cheaper to bring it from home. <laughs> All right? Um, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty sure, sure it's seriously right. <laughs> I think you're right. Right. Okay. All right. Maybe we should stick mm. with solid as a rock. Uh, Rocks so. have been around forever. <laughs> there we go. That's better. <laughs> See, they do at least remember. But date night. Yes. Okay. Date night. You know, and we would bring, we mm. would do things, we try to connect, you mm-hmm. know, because it can be like, you know, you, you guys, you see these couples that you go out now, they're just sitting at, <gasps> oh, we intentionally, by crazy. the way, on date night, we sit side by side. Yeah. Oh, Guys, that's good, baby. sit by your wife. Yes, yeah, sit by your wife. Don't sit across mm-hmm. and put the freaking phone away. <laughs> put the freaking phone away. We see that so often. That is so... <laughs> it's unbelievable. You know, sitting there and mm-hmm. the guy, you know, doing it and she's doing it and whatever. Mm-hmm. No. You know, it's a waste. Right. Why, why, why? Okay. Mm-hmm. So talk to your wife. <laughs> talk, <laughs> talk to your wife. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. You know, and so we do fun things like mm-hmm. um, 50 first date questions. 50, which we will pull out a phone, but we'll look at it together because right. we're sitting now next we're, to each other. Right. right? right. And we'll pull out the phone and, and we'll um, look up 50 first date questions or whatever. And there's tons of those out there. We can ask each other questions. And some of them are kind of silly. Other ones are kind of thought provoking. Um, but we always learn something or have at least have, have a good laugh. Right. right? Um, but it keeps conversation going so that right. you do have something to talk about. And okay. we've, we've done that for a long time. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. And dates without a kids. Right. It's not a date if you have your kids. I'm okay. sorry. It is not I'm a date. I just say, well, we went with our kids. No. Not a date. Uh, All right. Uh, Find someone to watch the kids. That's a family outing, which are great, but it's not a date. Right. But okay. Find someone to watch the kids. You can find someone, It's gonna, but you have to be intentional. Right. There's there's people in your neighborhood, people in your church, people in your community that are just like you. They're looking for. There's duct for tape and chairs. <laughs> 
Okay. Don't do that. Don't do that. There are people in your community that are in the same spot you are that would love to do some sort of babysitting co-op, right? Right. So we get together four different families. One, um, you get to go out three weeks, right. and then your house is the one. The, the fourth week, your house is the one where all the kids come, and you just rotate. Right. And that one week is literally hell, right? When it's your turn to watch all the kids because there's you know how yeah. many kids. Um, but you order pizza, watch a movie. Kids are great. And then um, the other couples get to go out those those um, other nights. Right. And you, you live for those times. But that's what we did for years and years. And our kids really got used to that. Be, be, and they looked forward to it because they got to be really good friends with these kids. I'm um, in the babysitting co-op. Got to hang out with them. Got to eat pizza, watch movies. Right. Loved it. So, zip ties. Zip I know. <laughs> Bo, I expect that. <laughs> I, mean, I, I get your humor now. <laughs> We're right there together, yeah. brother. <laughs> so day night, you know? there's no reason, no excuse. Money, um, kids, nothing. There's no right. excuse. Because no we, we were there. We were there. You could not come up with an excuse that says, yeah, but. Right. We're there. So. Yeah, but it's your responsibility, guy, mm. all right, to plan date night. Yes. Okay, date your wife. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. It takes a man, all right, to, to date your wife, mm -hmm. okay? And it's fun. And it's fun, right. It's fun. Okay. So, all right. There we go. Okay. Hey, what? something fun. I got something fun for you. <laughs> all right, it's my million-dollar plumber. So all right, like that. All right, the <laughs> blueprint here. All right, all the specs are laid out. I laid out the specs for you that it takes to build a successful, self-sustaining, and profitable plumbing business. It's all in there, mm -hmm. and it's free. All right, simply type free in the comments or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free and grab your free copy. All mm -hmm. right, do it. Okay. Do it today. All right, so. Okay. Where talking about keeping it hot and sexy. Hot and okay. sexy. Okay, we got honor one another. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. these are things you got to be intentional about. Honor, okay. Yes. Honor one another, all okay. right. Date one another, mm -hmm. okay. Date, all right, date your wife. Yes. Okay, start thinking about it on Monday. You should already be thinking about it now. Mm -hmm. I have. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. In fact, we're going to have all day Friday. We are. I was wondering if you were going to bring that up. We're going out on the boat. We are going on the boat. Yes, all day date. All right. Mm -hmm. This time I'll try not to run the, the boat aground. <laughs> The lovely Laura, okay, it was, it was a beautiful day. Stop. She's sitting oh, up there okay. in a bikini and the wind's blowing through her blonde hair. And I was paying attention to her and not where I was going and literally ran up on a <laughs> sandbar. <laughs> so I, hey. I can't believe you admitted that. But was it worth it? <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh, okay. All right, move on. What's so the next there we one? Go. Point next. three. All right, number three. Uh, <laughs> yes. Okay. We got need one another. Mm. Okay. You complete me. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> help me you help, help you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. That's from Jerry Maguire. Yes. For any of Jerry Maguire, Jerry, Jerry Maguire. Maguire. Jerry Maguire. All right. But need, need one, one another. another. Okay. Well, we're one flush. <laughs> hey? Huh? We're one flesh. We're, we're one flush. So we like to say okay. we're one flush. You're one flesh. <laughs> one okay, flush. so you do need one another. Mm-hmm. OK, yes. you know, again, we're back to you know, our society and that kind of stuff is is looking to tear us apart mm -hmm. and this idea that, you know, you're to do your thing. Mm -hmm. OK, mm -hmm. you got your you got your career. Mm -hmm. okay, I got my career. Friends I got my friends. You got your friends, my mm -hmm. friends. No, you don't have. Mm -hmm. You're one flesh. All right. You're one now. OK. So. And you're my best friend. Mm -hmm. Your wife is your best friend. You're my best friend. Not, not to not to dude. Mm -mm. OK, grow up. <laughs> Come on, man. Not some dude is not my best friend. Mm -mm. Okay? It's my best friend. Mm -hmm. All right? She's the one that has my back. The dude don't have your back. And he certainly ain't fun. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I knew I've been waiting for you to say something. <laughs> <laughs> we need move to talk. On, move okay? on, move on. Without Kimberly, all right? <laughs> I'm just a right. crazy dreamer. That's right. That's right, Bo. I'm right there with you, Bo. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right? But, um, need we, one another. but, but need? we need one another. Okay? I was writing down my notes. I know. Okay. What are some of your good notes that you've got about need? See, I okay. bet you can't read them. Can you? What? Can you read them? <laughs> well, no, I can. What? I had oh. here where it means more to be with my wife. Mm hmm Okay? Yes. Than watching the game. Guys, stop. Put away the childish games. Mm. That's another thing that's wrong with our society. <laughs> We're I know. Focus, and focus. with relationships. Put mm. away the childish games. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. Stop putting so much stock in that. Work at spending more time with your wife, mm -hmm. okay, who, who has something to add to your life mm -hmm. than, watch, than watching a bunch of overpaid 
whatever. Well, or, right. okay, the caveat to that, I think, might be unless you and your wife really like and if it, whatever, you're, the football, the baseball, the hockey. If your wife's into it, it yes. then that should be into it. Right. And that's a good point. Yes, and that's right. If, if the lovely Laura is not into it, mm. I'm no longer into it. Mm. Well, that's not fair. <laughs> well, man up. King up. Okay? If, if, if my wife is not into it, then I'm, I'm not into it. That's why I don't play golf. Nothing wrong with you guys who want to play golf, especially those that are husband and wives playing golf yes. together. Yeah. You guys okay. Like doing that that kind of golf. stuff. I but the lovely Laura hate golf. hates golf. <laughs> I'm not going to go <laughs> hit a little white ball around with a bunch of other swing and whatever, you know, <laughs> oh, guys, all right, <laughs> and spend that much time away from my wife. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's ridiculous. Okay. I'm not going to spend all Sunday afternoon watching NASCAR or baseball mm. or football, okay? Nothing wrong with sports, love sports. Mm -hmm. But my wife well, is not, not into that, mm -hmm. okay? And then another, th my wife is what makes the world go round, okay? Not, not the, lo the local team or whatever, okay? Mm -hmm. That's where we've lost ourselves. Mm -hmm. So that, that was, can you tell yes. I have a strong opinion there? No. Because I've seen how it's affected our society. Yeah. Yes. You know, and that, yeah. Right. So needing each and other. And certainly marriages. Yes. Needing each other. Um, needing. I mean, if I liked. We used to like the Colts. Sort of. And we would right. watch the Colts. Right. Which was well, fine. But right. And you were really big in into IU basketball. Well, that's true. I was really big. When, well, <laughs> back in the day when it was good, when it was Bobby Knight. Hello. Right. Um, but. And they yeah, were a bunch that, of spoiled thugs. Right. But. <laughs> there's that. Right. Um, but, but yeah, we do, so yeah, I'm just not into sports, so we don't do sports. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, working out. so we're mm -hmm. in the right. So that's what we do. Mm -hmm. You know, boating. Now, boating. Now right. we're in Florida. You know, Boating's I when fun. we were doing our thing, I I wanted to quite frankly, yes. I wanted to move to Jackson Hole and be a cowboy. We wanted to buy the ranch and do that kind of thing. <laughs> the lovely Laura says. Uh, no. Well, you can move there on your own and be with the cattle and the horses. <laughs> right. Say hi to Lance. I hope that's right. <laughs> but I'm not moving, yeah, I'm you know. I'm moving where it's freezing okay. cold. You know. Right. <laughs> and so we're, she wanted to move move to Florida. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it's not, that's not a bad. I like, I like the sun and fun, yes, too, obviously. Of course. You know? Tropical. Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah. but that, that's what we do. Right. So mm -hmm. it's, you know, needing one another, mm -hmm. you know. And it's about one another. I know this is a t touchy subject. Okay. But it's not about the kids. Mm, it is not, ladies. It's not about the kids. Now, obviously, you have kids, and kids right. are a responsibility. And kids right. during different seasons take more time. They just do. Right. Um, our, our, one of our clients just had a baby, Q&J, out of Houston. Right. Just had little baby A, which we're so excited about. Oh, my gosh, she's so adorable. Um, they just had a baby. So their lives right now are totally focused on a brand new baby that's not even a week old. Right? And, the, and, that, and that's the, a season. The, that's a season. That's and that's a, that's a reality Correct. and a need. Right. But I'm, t I'm talking about these things where the whole, you know, we've become a society where we now um, honor our children. Oh, above. Right. Instead of mother and father. Yeah. For those of, that understand where truth comes from, mm -hmm. you know, we're talking about the Bible mm -hmm. and we'll have God laid out the truth, mm -hmm. you know, was one of the Ten Commandments was, you know, children, honor your mother and father. Correct. There's nothing in there about and parents, well with you. honor your children. Correct. In fact, there's, there's other things in there about. Mm. Spoil, <laughs> uh, this is spare the rod, spoil the child. <laughs> right. Okay. Yes. That kind of stuff. But, but we turn it around to where now we, you know, we actually will spend all week driving the kids to practices and mm -hmm. All weekend long, going mm -hmm. on travel yes. teams and that right. kind. Of, and, and I get it if your if your kid is truly talented. Mm -hmm. Yes, then there's that. Right, and but. they truly want to do it. Mm -hmm. You know that kind of. And then there might be might right. be that if, they're, just, if they're driving it's disruptive it. to the family. It but we, is. we're now right. Or we're, or two. To, you've got lots of kids and they're well, going in the lots thing. of different right. directions. Well, that's the thing. Right, we got one going to so the soccer over here, another mm -hmm. going to baseball over here. Right, and, and you're apart. Right. Okay, All, right. It's designed to do just that, by the yeah, way. Split. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so we get all wrapped up in the kids. Right. And our needs are with the kids. Right. So when the kids will leave. They will leave. They will leave. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, they should. And then we have this situation that's it's like a death. Mm -hmm. Now, it's yeah, like, it's like it's I don't know. 
Well, well now we're no longer in love with one another. Or and, you're just devastated that right. the kids are gone. Just at, you don't even know how to function. Right. I mean, that that is not that's, that's not, not healthy. healthy. That's not healthy at all. Right. I mean, it, right. Of course, you're going to be sad. I mean, every time that we you know, it, took one of our kids to school, they were sad. It was a little transition. It was a, yeah, it was a transition, right. and and it was a uh, what do you call uh, a, it? Milestone a milestone, and just right. Life and is kids life is growing up. Right. And all, there's that. Um, but it wasn't this devastation of a how how we're going to function right. without the kids around. Absolutely not. And that came because we were intentional for so many years about each other. Right. And and we were solid with and each the, other. And the needs with, with us. In Correct. fact, it's more out of if I'm not with you, mm-hmm. it's like I feel a little, I yeah. feel a little awkward. Yes. In mm-hmm. fact, when we go, if I'm if I go someplace and she's not with me, mm-hmm. I mean the first comment I get from every <laughs> I'm from everybody. No matter what environment I walk into where mm. Laura's not there is, where's Laura? Yeah. Doesn't you know? fit. Yes. Right. All right. Boys together. Um, let's see. Christy thinks so. Life is good. Oh, I'm not sure what that means. I find it funny how hard we all try to impress people we don't like, but fail to impress the ones that are important. I'm sure you say you're exact, yes. exactly right. right. People on that you hardly ever see, right, or what their opinion is. Why do you care? Right. Right. Why do you care? Um, Richard and Laura, just come visit us on our ranch. <laughs> just give us. T- <gasps> Ooh, there's okay, we'll our visit only in, in the spring or summer. Okay. So, well, Utah, where they're at, might be won't be as bad. bad. But yes, okay. Two we'll years. definitely take you up on that. Absolutely. Um, Ronald. Ronald Reagan style retirement, mm-hmm. please. What is president? You know, <laughs> and, and there's a story there, um, and we, we relate to this. And um, Ronald and Nancy Reagan mm-hmm. um, were criticized. In fact, Nancy was extremely criticized. Yeah. I mean, because she had, um, you know, Ronald Reagan's back mm-hmm. all the way. She's just a, a good wife. Mm-hmm. Okay, but but they everyone, were one flesh. But they were yeah, they were Absolutely. one together. Mm-hmm. Um, and so they knew a lot of people, but even they even said that we they knew a lot of people, mm-hmm. but they really didn't have friends. Right, and they were happy two. with that. Yeah, because it was those two. And we we f- I know exactly that. what they're talking about. Mm-hmm. All right, we know a lot of people and are mm-hmm. friendly with a lot of people, mm-hmm. and quite frankly, with a lot a lot I'm here, and, right, <laughs> and, and do have a love for you, mm-hmm. okay, and, and others. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're happy. Just us two. This this is the mm-hmm. friendship right here. Mm-hmm. You know, and quite frankly, that's how it was meant to be. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Everything else is being told in society. It intentionally. It right. came because we were intentional. Right. It was intentional. Now it has to we be. We had to work at it. Right. It didn't come natural at all. Right. So, but now we're, we're benefiting from that because, again, everybody knows we're empty nesters. And life is great. And we enjoy each other's company. And now it's ever. fun. You're successful. Mm-hmm. You've been successful at business. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you have some, some wealth put aside or mm-hmm. you know that kind of a thing a so now security. now it's fun yeah some, some security there mm-hmm. now you have the the resources um both financially and time mm-hmm. wise <laughs> to to do the things mm-hmm. you know that you couldn't do when you were dating when you were younger correct you know, know. and now it's so i would joke about it, we now we're like kids we literally are like in fact we don't like hanging out with people our age because most are just busy dying yeah. <laughs> they're boring mm-hmm. you know i'm not talking about <laughs> conservative versus liberal ideas and that kind of stuff no, and who's willing no. you know it's not but it's they're, just, they're dying yeah you know yeah no, we're having too much fun right yes and so, i all the comments here i think and bo's running for president right make so a lousy president i'll vote for you bo the kimberly would make a mm-hmm. great first lady that's very true yes she would yes mm-hmm so, so, all right. So there you go. There we go, what guys. Was the last one? Need. Need one, one another. another. And guys, there's nothing wrong mm-hmm. um, with needing your wife, mm-hmm. okay? More than being with that, the, the buddies, right. okay? Uh, quit with the buddies. Quit, quit with the boys. Mm-hmm. You know, quit that garbage, guys, okay? Mm-hmm. It's, hurt, it's hurting you, and it's hurting your business. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying don't be friendly. Of course. Or don't go, you know, ever on business, you know, like a golf outing or something like that mm-hmm. or whatever. But don't every make it all then. every now and then. In right. fact, you know, the guys, you know, going out every weekend or partying with the guys or having this separate life from your wife mm-hmm. just just is not good at all. OK, it doesn't make you stronger. In fact, it's making you weaker. Mm-hmm. OK, and you're missing out. You're missing out on so much. Mm-hmm. All right. So, okay. guys, honor your wife. Mm-hmm. OK, date your wife. OK, need your wife. Again, there's nothing wrong with needing your wife. OK, okay. in fact, that's strength. All so right. Never have a give me off my soapbox. Probably be a good idea. The biggie. <laughs> All right. Okay. Something else you need. <laughs> we wrap things up here. The Million Dollar Plumber Success Academy. All right. If you're not a member yet of the Academy, why not? Why okay. Not? If you're what serious you about for? growing a successful, <laughs> self-sustaining, meaning 
It can run by itself without you, all right? And is also very profitable. If you're not, I guess if you're not interested in doing that, then you don't need it, okay? But if you're interested in doing that, you need the Success Academy, all right? Everything you need to know, again, to grow a successful, self-sustaining, and profitable plumbing business. Yeah. And you can check it out now for free, 14-day free trial. Simply type success in the comments or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash success and grab your free trial. Today. Today. All Ooh. right, there we go. Okay. All right, Thanks, how to baby. keep it hot and sexy. Mm-hmm. All right. Just laid it out for you. Okay, join Thanks. us next time. We'll continue mm-hmm. our uh, five-part series on living an intentional life. But before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created. And you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Thank you for tuning in to Potty Talk Live with Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. If you enjoyed this show, share it now. Just do it. To catch past episodes and get alerts for new episodes, turn notifications on now. And join us again for more tips, techniques, and strategies to help you grow your plumbing business.